This is Mr. Fanlin's thought on June 8, 2024. You need to hear this if you're a rural student. The annual college entrance examination has arrived again, and many rural students are eagerly hoping to use this opportunity to escape their rural lives and improve their economic conditions. In this era of relative prosperity compared to the last century, why do rural people still aspire to leave their farms? I believe this is due to the phenomenon of cheap grain herding farmers. Let's use an analogy. Suppose the prices of all raw materials for an industrial product increase, but the factory price is required to remain unchanged. What would the workers do? There are only two options, reduce the quality or stop production altogether. The current situation in rural areas is quite similar. Because the prices of agricultural products are not allowed to rise, while the costs of seeds, fertilizers, and pesticides continue to increase, farmers find their profits severely squeezed, sometimes to the point of no profit at all. Consequently, many fields are left uncultivated, and farmers hope to escape their rural lives through the college entrance examination and seek better economic opportunities in the cities. To promote the development of new energy vehicles, the government once provided subsidies to this industry. To stabilize food prices, could we apply a similar subsidy policy to agriculture? That is, providing farmers with subsidies proportional to the increase in raw material prices. This way, farmers can achieve a modest level of prosperity through farming, without having to compete with urban residents for the narrow path of the college entrance examination. The college entrance examination is indeed an important pathway to changing one's destiny, but it should not be the only way out for farmers. Ensuring that farmers can live with dignity and produce with security is a long-term solution. By implementing subsidy policies, raising agricultural product prices, and ensuring that farmers can earn a reasonable income from farming, we can reduce rural students' reliance on the college entrance examination and promote sustainable agricultural development, ensuring the country's food security. At the same time, it is essential to increase investment in rural education and improve its quality so that rural students can receive high-quality education right at their doorstep. This not only alleviates the pressure on the college entrance examination, but also allows more rural children to have a brighter future without leaving their hometowns. In summary, farmers' hopes should not be pinned solely on the college entrance examination. By providing policy support, raising agricultural product prices, and improving rural education, we can offer farmers more and broader paths of hope. This way, the development between rural and urban areas can be more balanced, and society as a whole can be more harmonious and stable.